Um, when I was looking, so there's this building that I'm into right now and I want that building and it's not, I want that building to rent. I want that building to own. So right now where I'm at, I mean, the rent is not as expensive at the, as these other places that I'm looking at, but the way I look at it, Robert is exactly how you said, you got to look at it in real estate. If I'm looking in just to find an office to, to massage, I don't, what is my background? What is my retirement? What is my future? <laughs> Who knows? Because all of that money is going into the other person to own that property. So for me, it blows my mind and it really actually gets me annoyed that I would be paying three thirty two hundred a month to be paying someone else's mortgage. It yeah. just, it, it, it actually, I'm annoyed and I'm like, the yeah. heck I'm going to pay someone else's mortgage. If I want to pay anybody's mortgage, it's mine. Yeah. So yeah. right now I'm literally looking, I'm not, I don't want to rent from anybody else. I'm looking what building can I buy because it's going to be an investment, right? Well, um, when people talk to me about a uh, franchise and my lawyer has assured me that I am not in a fiscal position to start a franchise because there's complexity there is like, you kind of have to have the first couple establishments set up and protocols and boundaries set yes. up. So yeah. that you can sell the package to the franchisee. And then what McDonald's did is they owned the real estate and would lease it to the franchisee. The company had already picked out, yeah. this is the spot on Main Street we need for the McDonald's. And I was like, genius. I was like, oh my God. It, I was like, I had no idea that they did that. It's the, all business. The challenge is you know? long term, I really think if it's a brick and mortar that you're looking at like how do you feel about managing staff like um is it what you want to do i guess is what i'm asking well is you know it's do i want to do it if i didn't have to do massage then yeah i would just manage well, staff all day if you but i don't want to do it because i want to massage <laughs> interesting so like the thing is have you considered buying a place starting the facility, managing managing the staff in the beginning, building it to the point where you hire someone to manage. Yeah, it's cross, definitely crossed my mind. Yeah. Uh, if I'm looking in future um, investment, and I know my body's not gonna carry me massaging people till 60, 70 years old, you know? I think massage therapists have a different lifespan in that manner, with a different lifespan as far as our... Um, so I'm also looking at the bigger picture, aside from doing what I love is massage, but then doing also what's practical for my livelihood and my children and their future. And just massaging and renting a massage office is not gonna cut it, I already know that. So yeah. I have to think outside of the box. What more can I do to secure what I'm trying to create without having to pay out so much and all the hard work that I do and all the massages and I'm there, you know, where, where am I going to reap the benefits of what I sow if I'm not planting my seeds, which are investments or whatnot to help me grow when I get older and my children as well. Yeah, once you get into like differing investments, we've had conversations in my business. If the subscription service continued to grow um, the way I would hope it would, uh, running ads, it would mean that mm -hmm. there would be enough income at some point that I'd have to, in some form, I don't know, put money in mutual funds or um, stocks or something. Whatever, maybe. Um, you know, buy a home or, you know, whatever, invest in right. real estate in, in different forms. And it's a different uh, business model that is, as of yet, not producing the sort of income I want, but I do feel like there's nearly an untapped uh, limit to my growth. Like, because I'm on the internet, you can sell stuff globally. Like, right. you know, do I care if a thousand people in China sign up? No, I, I'll, 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 <laughs> learn Cant I'll learn Cantonese if I have to. Like, right. you know, it's like, right. like the business keeps growing. Yeah. The long-term piece of investing is the other thing that I think in massage school, school owners only have 500 hours. The teaching technique, anatomy, physiology, the stuff you have to have to be able to do massage, I don't think it's very well done in terms of like thinking about the therapist's long-term business, no. retirement, no. owning a home, insurance, like all the other things that go along with, I guess, living a good life in America. 
And I don't fault school owners for that. There's only 500 hours. Right. I do know right. that when I have conversations about it in my classes, the students are just like, dude, this guy is not about hours of that. He keeps talking about this map based thing. And I just don't know. It's like, I, right. I, don't, I don't know how we got into stock market and mutual funds, but I just want to help. <laughs> I just want to help people. And it's like, well, guess what happens when you have a lot of money? You can help more people. Exactly. And they're like, no, but you're being a greedy capitalist. And I'm like, Mm, no, I, not at all. Yeah. 